Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, my lesson is on integers and absolute value. Our objectives today are that you will define the absolute value of a number and you will find absolute values. The question I would like you thinking about today is what do opposites and absolute value have in common? So let's review some vocabulary. Absolute value by definition is the distance between a number and zero on a number line. The absolute value of a number a is written as the absolute value of a. So these parallel lines are the symbol for absolute value. A here is just representing a number, any number. So we're going to talk about the absolute value. So this is the symbol. These parallel lines are the symbol. So when we talk about distance, we need to understand that distance is always positive. When you talk about traveling somewhere, so you're going to go to grandma's house. When you get to grandma's house, you may have traveled 20 miles to get there. So we always say that you're positive. So you're 20 miles from home once you get to grandma's house, but you don't ever say that you're negative 20 miles. It's always positive. So the distance you travel is always going to be a positive number. We talk about distance on a number line in the same way. You may go in a negative direction, but you're moving a distance. So the distance between two numbers, so let's say if I look at negative 3 and 1, the distance between these is 4. It's not positive, it's not negative 4, it's always positive 4. The distance between negative 3 and 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. If I go from 1 to negative 3, it's still 4 away, 4 units away. So now let's talk about this relative to the absolute value. So if I want to know what the absolute value of negative 5 is, it's positive 5 because this is the distance that negative 5 is from 0. So let's look on a number line. Here's negative 5 on my number line, and it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units away from 0. So the absolute value of negative 5 is 5, because these signs here, the symbol for absolute value means how far away from 0 is the number inside. Now let's look at the absolute value of 5. This is also 5. If we look at positive 5 on the number line, it is also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units from 0. So both negative 5 and 5 are 5 units from 0, and the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. The absolute value of 5 is 5. So since absolute value is referring to distance, we know that the absolute value of a number is always going to be positive. So now let's talk about finding the absolute value of 3. The absolute value of 3 is 1, 2, 3 units from 0. Therefore, written with the symbol, it is equal to 3. Let's find the absolute value of negative 4. We'll use the number line again. So we'll plot negative 4 on our number line and it's 1, 2, 3, 4 units from 0, making the absolute value using the symbols is equal to positive 4. One more, find the absolute value of 0. 0 is 0 units from 0, so the absolute value of 0 is 0. Your turn. I would like you to pause the video here Find the absolute values of these four and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So first we'll do the absolute value of six. No number line now. We know that six, the absolute value of six is six. The absolute value of negative two is positive two. The absolute value of negative seven is positive seven and the absolute value of 21 is 21. So noting that whatever is inside the absolute value 
the positive is what it's equal to. Whether it's negative or positive, the absolute value of a number will always be its positive. Now let's define opposites. Opposites are two integers if and they're opposites if they are the same distance away from zero, but on opposite sides of the number line. That's where the opposite comes in from. So we're looking for two integers that are both the same distance from zero, but on opposite sides of zero. So here's a number line. And first, now let's look at negative one and one. They are both one unit away from zero, but on opposite sides. So negative one and one are what we call opposites. Then we have negative two and positive two. They are both two units from zero, but on opposite sides. So two and negative two are opposites. Then we have th negative three and three. Both are three units from zero, but on opposite sides. So negative three and three are opposites. Negative four and four are opposites and negative five and five are opposites. Your turn. Find the opposites of these values. Pause, come back when you're ready to check. Welcome back, let's see how you did. The opposite of negative eight is eight. The opposite of 100 is negative 100. The opposite of 21 is negative 21, and the opposite of negative 15 is positive 15. Now we're going to use what we've learned to compare values. We're being asked to compare 2 and the absolute value of negative 3. So before we can compare, I've given you a number line here to give you visual, but before we can compare we have to simplify. So because we have this absolute value here, that's not in simplest form. We have to find the absolute value of negative three first. So the first thing I'm gonna do is plot two on my number line. And now I'm gonna find the absolute value of negative three. So when I look at negative three on the number line, it's three units away from zero. So I know that the absolute value of negative three is positive three. So now I can go and compare. Two is less than three, less than three. So remember our inequality symbol opens up to the greater number. So we have less than, greater than, or equal to. One trick I like to show my students is that my less than sign opens the same as the arrow on the negative direction. So less than matches the arrow heading negative. Greater than matches the arrow head going more positive. And we all know what equal to means. So now that we've simplified this, we know that the answer is going to be the less than sign. And we always want to answer with how they gave us because they asked us, even though we had to simplify to get to the answer, we want to use the numbers they gave us. So two is less than the absolute value of negative three. So the answer that I would be looking for as your teacher would be less than. All right, your turn. I would like you to compare these four statements using less than, greater than, or equal to. Please pause and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So the first thing I'm going to do in each of these comparisons is I'm going to simplify the absolute value so that I can be sure I'm comparing the correct values. So the absolute value of negative four is positive four. I know that any positive number is going to be greater than any negative number. So that's going to be greater than. Over here, we're going to simplify the absolute value of eight, which is eight. And I know that any negative value is going to be less than a positive value. I have the absolute value of four, which is four. Four is less than five. 
And over here we have the absolute value of negative 7, which simplifies to 7. And 7 is equal to 7. So there we have it, integers and absolute value. I hope this was helpful for you and that you will come back and join me here again at The Magic of Math. Please subscribe and register for notifications, and I hope you all have a great day.